îndreptăm acum atenția către Federația Europeană a Apelor Îmbuteliate. Și aici l-am invitat pe directorul de sustenabilitate, domnul Ermis Panagiotopoulos, pe care îl rugăm să ne vorbească despre sistemele de colectare eficiente pentru atingerea obiectivelor europene. Dânsul are o experiență de lucru în organizații neguvernamentale, la Comisia Europeană și în organizații din industrie. Experiența sa profesională este diversă și include domenii precum agricultură, apă, deșeuri și economie circulară. Deține cetățenie greacă și belgiană și este licențiat în management și inginerie în agricultură. Deține totodată un master în științe ale mediului la Wageningen. University în Olanda și un master în politici internaționale la Bruxelles. Hermes, please take the floor. You are prepared as far as I can see. Yes, good morning. Good morning and thank you very much for the invitation. Um, just before I start, I would like to have a comment um, congratulating as well Romania, not only about the speed, but I will come to my presentation about the content. So, It's, it's one thing to implement it fast, and this second thing is to implement it in the right way. So, and what I wanted to say, because starting from this um, discussion in the beginning of this call, uh, it was mentioned that Romania is paying a lot for illegal landfilling of its waste, and it, it's paying a lot of fines to the EU. Being Greek, I know what that means, because uh, we pay exactly the same amounts, and I think it's very important to clarify that deposit refund systems, so DRS, are for beverage packaging and not for all waste. So you solve a big problem, but not the whole one. So with that, I would like to, to move to my next slide, which is basically what I will present you in the next minutes is about the Federation and the sector very quickly, and then the EU legislation and the link with the fishing collection system for beverage. Now, who we are, we are a non-for-profit association uh, representing natural mineral and spring water producers based since 2003 in Brussels, but before that it was in Paris. And more or less what we need to remember from this slide is that we represent not only the ones that you know, but 550 bottlers of natural mineral and spring waters, mainly SMEs, small and medium-sized enterprises. Now, these are our members. We're talking about 25 national uh, uh, associations in different member states. Romania, as you can see, is highlighted also as a national federation, but also Romacqua as a company member. Now, some key statistics. Uh, what happens, what Europeans drink as far as non-alcoholic beverages are concerned? Those numbers are from 2019 from global data. You can see that 48% is packaged water, followed by 39% of, um, of soft drinks. Now, if we go to Romanian situation, exactly the same, more or less is the same trend, 51% uh, for packaged water, followed by the soft drinks. Now, having spoken about the content, where this is being packaged, Uh, and what, what you can see is the European figure is predominantly PET, so 88% of our natural mineral spring waters are packaged in PET, followed by 11.8, here is 12%, but is 11.8% glass, mainly Horeca, uh, and 0.2%, which is mainly aluminum cans. Now, moving again back to Romania, We can see that as far as the natural mineral and spring water producers are concerned, PET is even more important than, uh, and of course, I know uh, in Romania is not only beverages in terms of uh, water and soft drinks, but also beer is bottled in PET uh, compared to West Europe. So these are the figures for Romanian bottled water packaging. Now, it was, uh, we have, For the first time, we have, because up to now, we had the Packaging and Packaging Waste Directive, which sets for plastic, glass, and metal, and other materials, recycling targets. 
recycling targets per material. Here is the first time in the EU that we have collection targets, not for a material though. It is for a application of a material because PET bottle is also a detergent, is also a personal care product. But for those, these targets that you see in front of you don't apply. So we have not for a material, for an application of the material. So it was mentioned 77 and 90% respectively, 2025 and 2029. Very important, it was mentioned before, is not only the collection that we have to achieve, it's also the quality of the material becomes very important because we need to incorporate it to the new bottles. And here we don't speak about detergent, we speak about a food contact material, so, which has stringent rules to apply. So that's why for us, it's very important not only to achieve very high collection, but very, very importantly, the quality output of this collection. And of course, mandatory tethered caps and factoring in liter cleanup cost will raise the EPR fees, the extent producer responsibilities for producers. Now, collection, how is done? On the top left, you see where I live in Brussels, uh, how it's done with PMC, plastic, metal, and carton in one uh, bag outside of our doors. Other countries go to separate collection paper, glass, plastic, and metal. And what you see is, of course, the deposit system that we're discussing today. And this slide, you saw it just before uh, without the red, the red addition. Uh, what this slide shows that it started with a dark blue and it started, as you can see, since when from Sweden. It moved to the light green, which is where political decision has already been taken. Of and of course, Romania belongs to this category, but includes also the red part, which is ongoing discussions to implement one. So here you see that like mushrooms countries realize that they need to move very fast towards deposit system. And that's why for us, it's very important to follow the right deposit system and the right way where it's applied and it functions very well. Now, why all these countries go for it? Because as you can see, it yields very high, very high return rates. And that's the reason why. It was mentioned be before, but I always put it in a slide to showcase the latest example in 2016, which proves basically the, this slide that it's a quick fix. It's not only working, but it works fast. And actually that's what we need because we are talking about we are 2020 and we need to move to 2025 and 2029 very, very efficiently. And that's the reason why, as a federation, we were the first to endorse a uh, deposit refund system in, uh, in the beverage sector uh, across the EU in July last year. And this uh, summer, we went one step further. Having endorsed the system, we went one step further. What kind of system? Oh, because DRS, like extended producers possibility schemes are not all the same and we need to differentiate for that. So I will not go into the details because I would uh, like to leave uh, time for the Q&A, but very, very importantly, these slides, of course, you will have. What is very important to mention on this one is that all the key success factors that as a European Federation of Bottled Waters, we have identified, the Romanian plan, it's identical with those parameters. So it's, it's really something that it will definitely work. And that's why in my initial comment, I congratulate as well Romania for this. Uh, very important, it was mentioned as well by the minister that consumer convenience is very important. And, uh, and actually to communicate because doubling the price from one day to another of a product in itself is not really a smart idea. Uh, but putting it to prices, the content and the short lease, uh, the short term leasing of the packaging, because when you bring it back, you get the money back. It's very good indication that the consumer does not need uh, to pay more. Uh, so this, uh, I move on. And basically this is an animated slide, but uh, you can forget 
the PET in the, in the beginning, because for us, we use PET, glass, and aluminum, which are all fully recyclable. The point is, after consumption, to be collected, and with the deposit system, are collected, then to be recycled and put them back in, incorporate them in the new uh, containers. So with that, I would like to thank you, and uh, I'm open for questions. Uh, thank you too. So speed and quality, the two basic uh, needs. In June this year, the European uh, Federation uh, for Brewery Water, uh, Brewery Water, addressed the necessity to implement DRS in the European countries. Why is it so important for your industry group? Which are the most important DRS principles you have in mind? Yes, uh, first of all, why is important? Because as I mentioned in my slide, predominantly uh, we are using 88% uh, of the European market is PET bottles. And there are many merits for doing that. And having had now the single use plastics directive, we are moving to very high collection targets. And actually if we want to move to very high collection, if let's say it's one country to be excluded is the one that I live in, in Belgium, which performs very well with the current TPR scheme. But overall, what we see in Europe is that in order to reach those targets, it's only can happen with a deposit system. So that's why for us is very, very important. And of course, the parameters that you mentioned is, uh, it was in my slide. So basically is what Romania is going to do, that it needs to be not for profit, set up and run by the obliged industry because the obliged industry has an industry, the interest to perform well in order to achieve those targets, uh, national, uh, na national wide. So all the parameters that uh, I put in this slide that I passed very quickly are very, very important in order to do, though, to do so. And Romania uh, is very good that went in that direction. Uh, 